Talk about a blast from the past. You may have never imagined wearing things that you saw your parents rocking in the 70s, the 80s, and even the 90s, but trends are making such a big comeback. And Jacoby Grant is back to show us how we can style those retro looks today. What's going yes. on? How are you? Okay, I see you dressed the part as well in I your did, stripes I did. and color. I actually put forth a little effort today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the biggest trends that are making a comeback on our beautiful model. Okay, on our beautiful model here, uh, I simply went with a mixed pattern ensemble, which I felt is perfect uh, for retro fashion, um, utilizing and exemplifying a retro look. Um, here I have a striped pant, paired with the polka dot top, uh, both of which are by Gianni Beanie. Yes. So yes, um, again, very classic, clean, subtle, um, soft colors, again, mixed patterns, along with the wedge shoe um, that I also feel is perfect for a retro look. Okay, so we're looking at the top right now, and I think what really brings this into that 70s vibe, the nice little ruffle detail. She has both um, at the, the bust and along the wrist, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, again, in terms of uh, retro fashion, you definitely want to go for the elaborate details. Mm -hmm. um, peplum, anything pamplum, anything um, details, like whether it's at the bust, like you mentioned, or the sleeve, um, I definitely believe that details are key. And let's talk about these pants, because we see these like gacho style pants um, decades ago, but they're making this comeback because of the patterns and the different ways that you can rock them. They can be casual, you can dress them up. So talk to us about why you chose this particular print. I chose this particular print because they complemented the top so easily. Um, again, the, the color um, tones, the color scheme is so soft. It just, it's like a natural flow. I didn't feel like I was forcing anything. It's just, it just naturally all came together. Now, if we scroll on down to our model's <laughs> feet on those wedges, the shoes are definitely something that I'm noticing are making a comeback. Not only are we starting to see more chunky wedges, mm -hmm. but we are starting to see the mule style sandals are making a comeback as well, right? Yes, mule styles have definitely become a major trend um, over um, recent times. Um, again, I decided to go with the wedge simply because of the gacho style pant. Yeah. I just felt like it was all complimentary. But again, mules, um, wedges, thick heels, all of those things can be found in so many stores nowadays. And Jacoby even brought us a little extra yes. piece of fabric to show. I love the fact that these are making a comeback. Yes. Why leg pants? <laughs> For so long, it's been all about the skinny jean, but now we're starting to switch it up. What is the key to make sure you don't look dated with these type of pants? So with these pants, I believe it's definitely vital uh, for you to find a pair that fits perfectly. Yes. You want to find the right wash. You want to find the right uh, material. Um, again, like you just want to make sure that these bell bottoms, these wide leg pants accentuate you in all the right places. So cool. So <laughs> if folks out there want to get in touch with you for a few fashion tips or if they'd like to be styled, where can they find you? Yes, I can be found on Instagram at Jacoby GQ. Sounds good. Thanks for swinging by, guys. Thank you.